Hello all and welcome to a quick little video of making websites in Go. Today we're going to be just making a website. I would say it's a static website but I do believe I want to add a little bit of dynamicness to it so it's going to be interesting. We're going to make it from the ground up um, in Visual Studio Code and then hopefully deploy it on a Heroku um, cloud machine. And so if I pull up this little image here, we can see the game plan that we got going on. So the first step is obviously to install Go and all the packages needed, which has been done. I'm not going to let y'all sit around as we fumble with that. We do have to learn some of the HTTP framework. One of the main reasons I'm making this video is just to document my self-learning, as well as, you know, just this is how it is. This is how you learn. Um, um, Y'all can join in on the adventure as we go through it together. So we're going to learn some of that HTTP framework. And then after that, we're going to talk about those GET request handlers and how to parse the GET requests as they come in and make them route to whatever page that we want to go to. There's three main pages that we're going to be implementing here. Uh, there's going to be an about page. This is a personal website, I should add. So just about who I am kind of deal. So an about page, a landing page, and a blog page. There's actually already a, a website out there that I'm kind of going for. This is me, Project Star, uh, Computer Science Cyber Analyst. You know, an about page, a blog, and a consulting page. This will probably be changed to a, uh, what's it called, contact instead of consulting. Um, and one of the main reasons why I'm starting this project is because this is an old website that I made back in the day, probably 2019. And I wanted to make something in Go. I haven't used Go. I want to get into microservices. And, you know, I thought it'd be a good starting point to let's just remake this website and Go. So, what are we going to do, guys? What are we going to do? Well, luckily... There is this beautiful guide on the Go websites, or I got maybe it's the official website. I don't know. It's GoExamples.com, and I'm probably just going to be walking down. I have two screens set up, so on one screen, we're going to have this set up, and on the other screen, we're going to be coding. And so we have like you know this simple HTTP stuff, which is what we're going to be looking at first, where we get this handler function, and we're hosting. I believe it's down here. Yes, you know, it's a classic server. You want to open up one of your ports. And yeah, that's like, it kind of walks you through. That's like the first step. Let's get a page up and running. That way I can actually go to it and see, oh my gosh, it works. That's crazy. And then we'll do some routing. And the routing involves different URLs. So I'm used to Django. I've used Django before. And I've used Jekyll. Use a lot of Python, not a lot of Go. So I kind of understand the premise of this, this router and how we're going to want to register some URLs and send a handler depending on what the URL is. And it seems like there's this Gorilla Mux package that we're also probably going to have to install midway through. So that won't be a problem. After that, I think we can skip the database part because we're not going to really worry about database. But the templates, we're definitely going to want our HTML code and our CSS to go in there. I'll be using Materialize for the CSS. There's probably going to be multiple videos. I don't know if this is going to make it all into one because you know no one likes watching an hour video. We'll probably break it up into the relevant segments so that way y'all can scatter about. And finally, yeah, I think that's really all. We maybe maybe have a form, maybe, depending on how this all goes. But after that, I think we'll be set. And we can just deploy this bad boy. So without further ado, I think we're chilling. I'm going to bring this guy over here. I think we have some, some jams. Jams are initiated. I think that's vaguely audible. So let's start this guy off. So we have a print. Hello world. Great. 
Well, you definitely want to print Hello World on a server in a browser window. Does that sound cool? Does that sound cool, guys? Pull this guy up again. So we have our main function. Definitely are going to want a handler before finally having, yes, awesome. Okay, so we can actually import this What's that going to be? Net HTTP. Huge. Awesome. Just like that. Imported. And I'm totally not used to the syntax of Go, but we're going to make it work, guys. We're going to make it work. So that will be the default. It's default directory when you go to the page. The backslash iconic. All y'all web devs know what that's all about. So we have a response writer, which is an interesting struct. I have no idea what that entails, if I'm being honest. But I do know what a request entails. That's not too hard to get a concept of. So if we write to the W. So we're actually going to write to the... Okay, response writer. So this is what we write back. Okay. So I'm going to write back welcome... Hello world, like so. And I imagine if instead of putting this hello world there, if I put a template, put a HTTP page there, this would be sent back to the writer. So huge. Let's go. So I think with that, we need to end. Does this guy have an end? Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Go line 19. Okay. All right, we got a syntax error here. Expected a semicolon, but I did not find one of those. Let's see what's going on here. You know, the fun thing about making a video and then recording is y'all probably find these guys way quicker than I do. So I'm just like, oh man, what is going on? But in reality, it's staring at me right in the face. Um, I must be going blind. Oh, I see. I don't think it actually wants that there. I think it wants it like this. Possibly. We love it. Freaking love it. Awesome. Now we're just going to allow access to run this guy. And let's pull up this guy. If I go to localhost 8080, hello world, boom. There. Done. First step, guys, we take the dubs. So now that we have like a simple, simple little page up, hello world, that's cute and all. But let's, let's get this routing going. That would be super cool if we can get this routing to work and just go to different pages if i can navigate then we can start working on that css and so it looks like we're going to install this mux this gorilla mux package and that is no problem we will do that with this command it looks like all right downloading huge let's see if this guy works so I wonder if I need to import this guy at all. Is there like a uh, a mux dude that needs to get imported? Nope, does not get does not. It just took that out for me. Oh my god! It just yeeted it out of the atmosphere. So we will make a landing page 
as seen there. And let's make a router. Yeah, okay. So is 100% going to need Okay, you actually import this whole thing. That's pretty cool, go. Yeah, is it cool, go? What's up? All right, huge. So we ended up getting that for a weird error. That was interesting. You know, I used that go get, and I really don't know what that command did. Did not read up on how the go get command works. However, I did check out the file location, and you know what? There was no mux. There was no GitHub mux there. And so what I ended up doing was just going to that GitHub URL myself, downloading the zip, and putting it in a folder called mux in the um, in our source path. So now we're all good and back on track. We have a new router here that seems like it can parse git request huge love to see that let's make some uh different urls some different urls that we can go to that'd be super cool super cool if we could do that and if we look on this little website here it seems when we're doing this url URL parsing. Just come on over. Restrict the handler to a specific HTTP method. Okay, so we do want to do that for gits so that we can't do anything crazy. Awesome, awesome. It seems like these are methods. Did he name these up here? Yes, very cool, very cool. Okay, I see. So you can give this function, it seems like, a name. I think this is like the go-to syntax. So for the handle func here, there's that is that whole function, this whole, which I should probably give them names. We'll do that in the future when we're tidying up. But for now, so we have a landing page, very cool. Very cool. Let's make a about page. Red swiggle, go away, please. I think we're good. I think we're golden. Build. Huge. Oh no, web page not found. Hmm. What if I add that? Awesome. All right, guys. So, um, as it turns out, all we really need to do, I added these little Git requests here to restrict it to just Git because formality. We'll keep that in mind. And for the listen and serve here, instead of having nil, I guess that was null. That's how Go says null, nil. Interesting. Um, we just changed the R. So I guess it's listening and it's using this parameter as the router so that'll that'll do it for this first video um just getting the basics the skeleton of this website up and running i think in the next video so we have these pages now that exist in the next video we're just gonna roll through and try to make some templates big template guy and get some actual html on that page make it look pretty so till then, thanks for watching.